this is Cindy Sam, and welcome to another exciting edition of the home game. And this time around, we're concluding the trilogy. Last, two times ago, it was Wheel of Fortune for the Game Gear. Last time, it was Jeopardy for the Game Gear. And now, we wind it all up with Jeopardy Sports Edition for the Game Gear. And this is a little bit of history, because uh, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy were released in 93. Um, and they had this style of label on the cartridge with Game Gear normally typed up down there. This was the old way they did it. Around 90, late 93, um, they would become more uniform. Like, Sega would go through a massive rebranding because in the cartridges and the labels, actually the boxes, they would have Genesis on one side and then the box art. And the Game Gear kind of followed suit with the purple instead of the red and the label as is. Now, it was also different for different countries because I know Mega Drive in Britain, when it was the Mega Drive in Britain, it was blue. I don't know what they did in Japan. But either way, we're going to do some Jeopardy Sports Edition now. It's the same as Jeopardy, but with sports. If the uh, cart if the console versions are anything to go by hold on as we default to that and we pop the cartridge in there it is Jeff sports edition Broncos country that's right It's the same intro from Jeopardy Sport, the regular Jeopardy, with same 8-bit creepy-looking deformed Alex. Jeopardy. Also with Johnny Gilbert 8-bit. I should also mention this game was also made by IJE Games or Imagineering or whatever it is. And... They never really improved their games. Jeopardy. And as you see here, same setup. CZ, no. And it's the same characters. Same Alex, same characters. Um, and what kind of gets me this because on the consoles, they actually have sports-looking people on there. Like a golfer or a baseball player, tennis player, something like that. But for the Game Gear, I guess they couldn't be asked. Anyway, baseball, hodgepodge, Olympic events, numbers, equipment, football, potpourri, and multi-team cities, which is a category I love, you know, when teams move, because we're dealing with that nowadays, because we know recently Oakland lost all of their sports teams. One moved to San Francisco and the Warriors, and two of them just moved to Vegas. No, these are cities that have multiple teams. Sorry, my mistake. But I was right in a way because Oakland went from a multi sports team multi -te sports team city to a no sports team city. And what I find interesting about this question is this was in ninety four. Um even though it might not feel like it nowadays, but there was a very real possibility that Seattle would have also been a no sports team city because in 95 um, Seattle never made the Mariners and that's what the daily double looks like kind of sucks well go 500 
Miami Hurricanes of the of the old Major League Soccer. No Hurricane. No, no. Miami Hurricanes is the college Marlins. The we'll do called the Florida Marlins. But that was something I was trying to look for in the previous videos. What the Daily Double looked like and eh. But graphically, it, it looks the same, just the questions are different. And... Hold on. I never really touched about this. But the controls of the game, when you try to put in a, a letter for an answer... Not really the tightest. Well, on the Game Gear, anyways, in the uh, home versions of the of the I should say the console versions on the Genesis and the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, they're really solid. The controls are solid. Just somehow they didn't care much for the Game Gear or the Game Boy. And also, you get that horrendous lag here. And honestly, I think we got that same amount of lag on the Game Boy. And it's just not fun. And this would be Atlanta. I almost put Hot Atlanta. numbers for a hundred I think it's two That shocked me on that. I think it's three. One main judge, two line judges equals three. One. Well, sometimes you do need those line judges. It's six unless it's five five, then it's got to be seven. I ain't touching this. I think it's like fifteen, but I'm probably wrong. But I love it says as of ninety three, so they kind of figured that we'd be playing this game 
into the future. And I guess 11 is the correct answer for 93. Okay, Texas, California, Ohio, New York, Florida. I think it's five. Then it's got to be six. Or was this around the time where the Rams moved to St. Louis? No. No, it's six. So what am I missing? Oh, Pennsylvania. Steelers. I think it's pitchers. Probably catchers. What the? I, whatever. Also, one of those things on this is unless it's the exact answer then they won't take it oh god Casey Stengel oh. bring back bad bad memories there was a streamer a long time ago that I followed like they're not around anymore um but their name was Corn Shack and there was this they played Sports Je Jeopardy Sports Edition for the Genesis, I think. And it was a baseball category, and every single answer it felt like was either Casey Stengel or his hands. A junk man really throws his fist at the fastball. Like, they're called junk men because they'll throw you junk. Like, curveballs, sliders. Stuff you can't hit. And about the stream, like, it would just keep on going. And the final Jeopardy was... Uh, it was another Casey Stengel question. It was just frustrating. And the computer won. Uh, hello? Like, it is eating everything. It's taking so slow. The shape of a baseball infield's a diamond. What the? 
Why should be something stupid like a triangle or a rectangular cuboid or something along those lines? Whatever. There's another... I'm going to full screen because we're done with this. Anyway, there is a sports trivia game for the Game Gear. I have it. It's in... There's a little shelf thing I have all my Game Gear games in because it's an easy way to store them. Um, I played it like once and it controls a bit better than this did, than Jeopardy Sports Edition did. <sighs> I gotta be honest, not fun. Somehow I think it's worse than original Jeopardy for the Game Gear because with the console versions of Sports Jeopardy, the characters look like they were playing sports. So it kind of gave that inclination that it was a sports version of Jeopardy. Um, this doesn't. And I'm willing to wager, I, I don't think I have Sports Edition for the Game Boy. If I do, I'll break it out for, another, for a future home game. But... It probably looks the same as this, but black and white. And without Alex Trebek. Because the Game Boy version does not have Alex. It doesn't have any sound whatsoever. Not, I mean, it has a not good version of the theme. And the sound effects aren't there. This is so... I hate to say it, but I don't think Jeopardy Sports Edition for the Game Gear is worth your time. Like, um, and it's more expensive than the Super Nintendo version or the Sega Genesis version. I would say just get those. And I do have Jeopardy Sports Edition for the Super Nintendo and the Game Gear. And the Game Boy and the Genesis. Actually, I have... I have Jeopardy Sports Edition for the Genesis Sealed. Or as Pat the Hennis Punk would say, Sealed! Anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, in conclusion, Jeopardy Sports Edition for the Game Gear. Uh, stay away from it. It's not worth your time. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Um, if you like seen me suffer through some bad game show games and we're gonna be doing some wee ones in the future so we know how good those are um leave your suggestions in the comments thumbs up this video share it on all your socials and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified of when those torturous moments will begin um and if you want to help fund some of the torture uh, become a Patreon backer at patreon.com slash gameshowgumbo like these people here who like seeing me suffer through bad game show video games or bad home games in general or just bad game shows in general. Well, that's going to do it for me. I'm Cindy Seidelman. We will see you next time. Bye for now.